Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm still on cloud nine that Cleo Smith, the missing four-year-old in Australia, was found alive, happy, and healthy. Here she is smiling and waving in the hospital. My gosh, this gives me so much joy. And today we have a little bit more information as to what happened, along with the video footage of her being saved. Guys, this footage is incredible. This story is incredible. It's so nice to have good news for once. I want to I want to play this Australian news footage to give you a little bit of insight. And they're going to show you the moment uh, they saved her and brought her out alive. A beaming Cleo Smith in hospital with a wave clutching an ice block found when all hope seemed lost. What a great day. Uh, we now have uh, returned Cleo to her loving parents. Uh, it's a wonderful day for uh, this little girl and her loving family. 18 days after she vanished, early this morning, they found the little girl in the pink pajamas. Cleo, my name's Cameron, how are you? Are you okay? We're going to take and see your and daddy, okay? Is that good? Detective Senior Sergeant Cameron Blaine saw her first. I just wanted to be absolutely sure that, um, you know, it certainly looked like Cleo. Um, I wanted to be absolutely sure it was her, so I said, what's your name? And she didn't answer, and I said, what's your name? <laughs> um, she didn't answer again, so I asked her a third time, and then she looked, and looked at me and she said, my name's Cleo. And it was, um, and that was it, so... At 1am, police raided this home in Carnarvon. Cleo was inside, alone. I'm just so proud, you know, I've got to be the proudest police commissioner in the world because I'm so proud of this team. Uh, they're just a dedicated team. It's an outcome that, yeah, we hope for. Uh, you don't always get what you hope for. A neighbour ran out as detectives placed Cleo in the police car. I stood up and went to, I ran there, stood up toward, toward the um, detective's window, yeah, and then... I saw Cleo in the back, you know. Yeah, that's it. Cleo was quickly reunited with her mum and stepdad. So what was Cleo's reaction to seeing her parents for the first time? Oh, you know, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Big hugs, kisses, um, yeah, and lots of tears, you know, so as you can expect. Ellie Smith took to social media a simple message, our family is whole again. Oh, so amazing, guys, we talk so much on here and there's so much negative stuff but to, sh to have a moment of just happiness the fact that they were able to find her the fact they were to make this family whole again it's such joy and, and amazingness that i want to make sure you guys see this look the guys in blue they've been under a lot of scrutiny and it's important that we celebrate when the police are able to do the right thing and manage to find someone like this in this instance so i got to applaud the amazing Australian police out there that that were following all these leads so cl closely. And as we actually are getting more information on this case, they are not really getting very specific as to why or how this happened. Apparently, for, as we've gotten more and more details as they're coming in, uh, they this person was not someone... Uh, and there, that was the footage of them bringing it out. Apparently there's footage inside as well, but I, I, I hope, imagine they're not sharing everything. Um, but it, it, first of all, just the reaction, the fact that she's so ha she was seemingly okay, smiling, not as terrified as, as I was afraid she might be, uh, happy to be back at home, safe in her family's care. is such a nice thing to see. Uh, this is just such an amazingly, uh, as a father, it just gives me so much happiness to know that she's safe. Um, no child should be put through a situation like this. Um, as for the, the monster behind this and how this happened, uh, the man in custody has no connection to the family. No charges have been laid yet. I'm sure that's just they're, they're gathering their evidence. Um, this, this house was six minutes drive from her family's home. Just so, just so crazy to think that she was just six minutes away and they just didn't know where. Apparently, I've been told by some of Marl Strange, this, this area is it's the word dodgy. This is a dodgy area they found her in. Not, not the best area or neighborhood to, to find someone like this in the situation. Um, but wonderful, relieving news. Uh, the commissioner said, I think Australia is rejoicing. I think the whole world is rejoicing. Uh, just find this vulnerable little girl after 18 days. Obviously, people will think the worst, but importantly, hope was never lost. Hope can never be lost. You got to, it's, it's amazing, this case. Uh, so here again is, so what happened, and we have a little bit more details as to what might have given the clue. Uh, the family was their first in a holiday, and for those that don't know this case, in the camping grounds, when she went missing on October 16th. Um, this is about 560 miles north of Perth. 
It's a local attraction in the state's coral coast, known for its widespread ocean scenery. Lagoon sounds like a beautiful place. Uh, she'd been sleeping on an Arab mattress next to her younger sister's cot when her mother, who had been sleeping in the second room of the tent, I guess there were it's a multi tent, uh, got up in the morning and she was gone. And the tent door was open. Uh, they they were raising these fears of you know did someone take her? Uh, but she was adamant Cleo could not have left the tent on her own. Task force of 100 officers were sent from the state capital, Perth, to join a massive air, land, and sea search. Uh, reconnaissance planes were used to comb sparsely populated areas. Again, they, they were combing that desert like crazy uh, where they were found. So they it's so weird at the campsite and then literally found over this way, which is, again, six minutes from where they actually lived. It, it, it blows my mind how this just works, but that's where it was on the, on the coast of Australia. Uh, they had offered a million dollar reward, and I didn't realize this. Apparently, bounty hunters from all over were traveled down to try and cat to, to to get the, the reward. Um, they say at the end of this article, but they don't expect anyone's going to actually want it. Everyone's just so emotionally happy that this is the outcome. Um, they scoured thousands of pieces of information looking for a needle and a haystack. Late last night, they found that needle that led them to the address and rescued Cleo. Police said it involved information about a car, but would not elaborate abc news reported a man who lived at the house had recently been spotted buying a neighbor by a neighbor buying nappies we didn't click who he was buying them for the neighbor was quoted as saying so I, I, again i don't know if that was connected or if this person saw them you know buying child items and thought well, wait a second why is this kid buying child items this is this is sus um so either way, it was that lead or, again, something about someone who called in about a car, which they have not specific, you know, gotten specific yet. Maybe they're holding some of this information to, to get proper charges because I imagine this man is going to be charged heavily. Um, but they got to make sure that he can't get away. They have to make sure they do this properly. I don't know how Australian law works, uh, but I imagine they need to build their case as they charge and make sure it's impeccable. Uh, but. This is the intel we've gotten uh, so far. Uh, and so uh, for 18 days, we we're filled with anxiety and concern. Uh, and uh, now it's incredible to see seasoned detectives openly crying with relief. Uh, police said they do not expect the, res the reward to be claimed. Uh, and no one need. I mean, at this point, the, the reward is seeing this. Ugh, it makes me it makes this one makes me incredibly emotional to know that she's safe. I'm so happy, happy, happy emotion. Uh, but I, this is my kryptonite. When kids are in trouble, man, I can't stomach it. It is just the sick, most sickening thing to know that someone out there would want to harm a child like this. I, I can't even, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Uh, and so I was so uh, even just worried reporting about this when it made me so sad. But to see the smiling face of this girl, I'm so happy for her and her family. And I cannot wait just to see how she can grow and live and do what she needs to do and will do. It's just an amazing story of hope and inspiration and to never give up. It's always what I say here. It's my mantra on this channel. I have it now next to me. As you guys keep reminding me, keep going whenever you're down, don't give up. It's not always going to have the rosy outcome, but still, even when it's not, no matter the outcome, keep going because there's always positive still out there. Never let that leave your mind. And this is an instance where thank goodness Hope was was kept and uh, happiness was found. So bravo to this Australia. Again, props to the police. We don't give them props enough when they do well. And in this instance, they did amazingly well. It's a hard job out there. The pressure, the amount of expectations, the amount that the, the fact that we expect them to be everything. Uh, it, it's a lot. So bravo to this team and, and, and the community that rallied together to make this happen. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, and we will be live today, and we're live every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you hit that subscribe, hit the bell for all alerts, smash that like button, uh, and leave a comment down below. Uh, how excited are you about this story? Uh, and please, please, please join us today because we have a special story. We have a special guest. That surprise witness is there. But Britney Spears, man. It's another important story, and she's finally getting to that end finish line, but it's not over yet. But today, today, actually yesterday, she finally named the people behind it. She deleted it since. I'm sure her lawyer told her to, but this opens up a whole conversation that I've been dying to get into, so do not miss it today. In fact, I will put it at the end of this video. Please support it. Learn more about this case. It's more than Britney. This is a big deal of corruption that's being uncovered. Join us there on the left or click the video on the right. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet.